Stephanie and Kate here in studio tonight, staying on the health beat here. These are small clues that can really sneak up on you. Forgetfulness, long and short term memory changes, signs or symptoms of early Alzheimer's disease, or at least a few of them. And as several drugs start to come to market over these last few years, there's this new one that was just approved by the FDA in early July. I caught up today with neurologist Dr. Thomas Hammond via Zoom during his lunch hour. He's with the Marcus Neuroscience Institute at Baptist Health in Boca Raton. He's been really closely monitoring, studying the clinical trials on this new drug, and he's pretty excited about it. It's called Denonimab. This is a monoclonal antibody infusion given every four weeks. Dr. Hammond and others in the arena say it's showing great promise for those able to detect early stage Alzheimer's. It's called neuroquantin. It looks at the cortical thickness. Mm. It's interesting. It takes the gray matter, paints it red. The white matter is painted white. The deep, deep grand structures are painted different colors. And the, the volume of different areas, particularly the hippocampus, which is the memory cortex, gets measured. And you get compared to others your age. And we give a percentile. Wow. So you, you, want to be, you want to be at least somewhere near the 50th percentile for your age. But if, you, if you're dripping down to the 10 percentile or 20 percentile for your age, and you're somebody who's been bright, we thought, then that's the real concern that you're losing memory cortex and uh, uh, we have to look hard, harder into whether we're dealing with this uh, early degenerative brain disease. He was talking with me specifically about a test that they do conduct there at Baptist Health. This new drug, by the way, developed by Eli Lilly, is FDA cleared, of course, for use in adults with mild cognitive impairment or early Alzheimer's disease. So the key, of course, to all this, according to Dr. Hammond and others, identifying it early and going ahead and talking to your physician. Here are a couple signs that you want to be on the lookout for uh, for yourself or if you're a caregiver for a senior. Difficulty with everyday tasks, things like following a recipe that you really knew very well, suddenly that might be a struggle for you. You can't remember the recipe or repeating the same question or the same story over and over again. Personality changes. Maybe you become anxious, confused, fearful, suspicious, or depressed suddenly. Confusion about appointments, a time and place, loss of interest or apathy when you were a pretty excited person before. Communication problems, perhaps, where you stop abruptly in mid-sentence or then struggle to think of words, of names, of objects that you may have uh, become very or been very familiar with at one point. If you feel like you're experiencing any of these signs or your symptoms, you want to go ahead and speak to your general practitioner right away about getting some advanced testing done. Great news in all of this, this new drug tar targets the amyloid in the brain, which is considered a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. So identifying the signs and symptoms quickly and starting on this new drug could be critical to slowing the progress of the disease. And we all know someone or have been touched by someone yeah. with Alzheimer's. My, grand my husband's grandmother Oh. passed away and you know by then it was just she didn't know sure. any of us sure sure so as, as you were mentioning some of those signs to look out for those all checked boxes for her not remembering getting lost not sure. being herself sure. things like that and it's hard to watch that hope is that you as we're starting to see these mm -hmm. drugs come to market I'm not sure when you lost her but uh, you Four know years ago a lot of hope yeah. you know there is a lot of hope coming to the market that if you can identify these signs like you mm -hmm. said if you're a loved one or a caregiver a family member the doc actually right. said that's the biggest key if a family member can kind of get them to a doc early and get ahead of this. But, you know, the disease, 6.7 million people uh, uh, in the United States, 65 and older, are affected by this. So many families, the projections mm -hmm. not going in the right direction. Projections are 13.8 million will be affected by 2060. Wow.